Today, I would like to talk about the importance of water and our health. 50 to 60% of our body, depending on our gender and our age, is made out of water. We really cannot survive without water, as all of us know. From a Chinese medicine point of view, water is what allows the communication between the different parts of the body, between the different organs. It smoothes things out, it lubricates everything in the body, it allows a better flow through the blood, through the interstitial fluids, and through other aspects that are really made out of water. The reason why water is so important to our health, especially in these days, is that probably the majority of people are chronically dehydrated, chronically do not drink enough water on a regular basis. And why is it that it's so important? Why is it that it's a problem? We all live in a pace which is too fast. We are on a run as part of a society which is very much goal-oriented. And what happens with this lifestyle? Well, we get a dramatic surge in heart disease, in arteriosclerosis, in diabetes, in cancer. And if we look at these illnesses, inflammation, overheating is a part of it. So something simple and important that we can do is simply drink enough water. Maybe between eight cups of water, two quarts, to 16 cups of water. It depends on our age, on our activity, and on the weather. We, of course, will need much more water if it's very hot outside, and especially if it's dry. When is the best time to drink water? It's best to drink water on its own and not to drink water while we are eating. The reason is that when we drink water while we are eating, we are diluting the juices of the stomach. We are diluting the digestive enzymes and we are making our stomach less acidic, which can interfere with the digestion of food, especially the digestion of protein. So even if you drink your one or two glasses of water, five to 10 minutes before your meal, a lot of it will get absorbed quickly enough. Best to drink it 15 to 30 minutes before. But if you're sitting to a meal and you feel thirsty, drink your water first, wait a few minutes. It's very interesting how prevalent dehydration is without us knowing. In many, many cases where you have a headache, before you take a painkiller, just drink a few glasses of water. You may find that if you drink four to six glasses of water, in more than 50% of cases, the headache will simply go away. Because we don't drink enough, we are often not aware of the level of thirst and dehydration we have. And we may feel that we are not thirsty. And a very interesting thing happens. Once we drink our first glass of water, we suddenly feel our thirst. And when we drink our second glass of water, the thirst really gets stronger. And then it's amazing. We may find out that we can drink five, six, seven glasses of water. That's what it takes us to finally feel that we're not thirsty. And while we drink, our headache goes away, our body feels less tight, we have lubricated our body, we have nourished it with a basic molecule, with a basic substance that is required for our life and for our health, water. Often people will replace the consumption of water with carbonated drinks and sodas. You may find that when you drink these, you actually get thirsty. And the reason is the high sugar content, the high osmolarity, the high concentration, that actually will pull out water out of the cells, instead of allowing the water that we drink to go into the cells, actually creating a greater level of dehydration. So there is really no substitution to water.